be the text of a press conference by March for Nigeria calling on governors and local government administrators to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people at the state and local government level in pursuance to sustainable development in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols duly observed. Answers. Governors must demo demonstrate responsibility to end bad governance in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the leadership of the March for Nigeria, I warmly welcome you all to this press conference put together in the wake of the aftermath of the ENSAS protests in Nigeria that resulted in the quite unpleasant event across the country. The March for Nigeria initiative is constrained to lend its voice to bring, us, to bring an end to the bad governance in the country, which is rife at the state and local government across the country. We must all admit that the activities of most governors and local government administrators are somewhat responsible for the virus agitation and disenchantment in the polity because these governors have constituted themselves into mini-gods. The, rec the recent discovery of COVID-19 palliative stored in various warehouses across the states is indeed a vindication of the effort of the federal government towards improving the lives of the people in ways too numerous to mention. However, it has become clear that most governors are not in tune with the reality either by omission or commission. As it is inexcusable for food items meant for the people during the coronavirus pandemic are kept from the people for God knows why. The March for Nigeria initiative views such actions as counterproductive and untimely against the interests of the country in this critical point of our existence. Hence, the need for demonstration of responsibility in governance at the state and local government level because they are indeed accountable to the people that voted them into office. The hoarding of the COVID-19 palliative is just one example of how things are going wrong at the state and local government which by the large undermines the effort of the government at the center. When one takes a cursory look at budget performance across the 36 states of the country, one would be confronted with tales of underperformance and lack of commitment to uplifting the standard of living of the people. The March for Nigeria in initiative views such disposition as appalling and enemical to sustainable growth and development in Nigeria. It is also in instructive to state that not until citizens start to ask questions on accountability from state governors and local government administrators we will be going around in virus cycles. Citizens must be charged to ask questions on the performance of budget across the 36 states of the Federation. Citizens must also demand transparency from governors in the conduct of the state's business as only these can guarantee socio-economic development at the state and local government levels. It is thus a statement of fact that should the governors continue in such fashion, sustainable development would elude us and we will all bear the brunt of our actions and inactions. The March for Nigeria initiative is using this medium to tax the various state governors to go to work and do the needful in their different states with regards to delivering the dividends of democracy to the people. We are also taxing the various state governors to display a strong commitment to complementing the efforts of the federal government in tackling the virus challenges in the country. We also acknowledge the fact that some governors have been quite cooperative with the federal government in addressing security challenges in their domains. It is thus considered opinion that if this attitude is replicated across the 36 states of the Federation, Nigeria will be steady on the path of economic growth and development. <clears throat> thus, the governors and local government administrators must shun all acts of corruption in their domains. This is on the heels that the level of corruption at the state and local government level is indeed 
mind blogging and should indeed be the focus of any genuine NSAS campaign in the country. If this trend is not curtailed, sustainable development will continue to elude us and youth restiveness would not abate. There must be an entrenchment of transparency and accountability in the state and local government to ensure that Nigeria makes sustainable gains in our quest for development. It is also our considered view that if there are no attitudinal change on the part of governors, Nigeria might remain, might remain a project that won't be completed for a long time to come. The March for Nigeria initiative is advocating for collectiveness and synergy between the federal government and the state governors towards ensuring that the people enjoy the dividends of democracy. We thank you all for your time, and we desire that the state governors will realize their mistakes and re retract their steps in a way and manner they, they govern their various states. This remains the only option left towards setting Nigeria on the path of greatness. Thank you all, and God bless you.